fire once again back on it means watch ki tea talk train of and thought with a series of an episode with dr chris uh, disoza an amazing journey of practitioners and well recognized world over and he is an ENT surgeon based in mumbai associated with various big hospitals like tata memorial holy family hospital holy spirit hospital lilavati hospital uh, now in our earlier episode we have taken about uh, the important organ that is the nose and throat now in this episode we are going to talk to dr chris disuza as far as a uh, ear which is an important part of an uh, uh, organ which is concerned before i get into uh, the actual sim- symptom as far as a uh, ear which is concerned uh, in fact there is a one book of uh, implantable hearing devices uh, which is written by dr chris disuza and this uh, book uh, was also presented to uh, ratan tata and based on hearing uh, devices uh, sir is working very closely with a uh, salman khan Fond- uh, foundation like uh, sir can you please throw some light on implantable hearing devices book <clears throat> of all the five senses we ent surgeons are privileged because we are able to restore it completely no other sense of the human body is the uh, are we able to restore it i owe a lot of gratitude to mr ratan tata and the tata trusts and mr salman khan for his being human foundation i have been in the business of uh, the restoration of hearing especially in poor deaf marginalized children now cochlear implants have been around for quite some time now my purpose is to identify people with hearing disabilities and treat them immediately it has been known and well documented that a child who is born deaf if you insert the device in the ear by the age of 2 mm-hmm. we are able to let them hear because they can hear they can acquire speech and language they can then enroll in schools for children with normal hearing mm-hmm. and develop completely like a normal child oh, one more two like at the age of 2 that is the critical period the more the person the child ages say 6 and 7 then the benefit that they get from the device will not be much mm-hmm. this is because of something called neuroplasticity in the brain mm-hmm. that is to say as stimuli are entering the brain the brain routes that signal mm-hmm. to the area for which it is designated mm-hmm. that is to say if the child hears then it is designated to that area in the brain for hearing which is also responsible for the development of speech and language oh. that center at the age of 2 then gradually shrinks mm-hmm. and then becomes just a very tiny speck yeah. so it is very important to catch that child by the age of 2 and implant that device mm-hmm. now i have had a lot of satisfaction in helping poor marginalized deaf children now it must be remember that the cost of each device is 6 and a half lakhs so this is beyond the income of any parent of these poor marginalized deaf children so mr ratan tata stepped in mr salman khan stepped in and had helped contribute towards the these devices so these two persons mr ratan tata and mr salman khan all of us are very very indebted to them and of course the tata trusts mm-hmm. we have had many donors who have also given us money mm-hmm. and they have been extraordinarily kind and by doing this we have contributed to the nation because who knows which child that we even planted will down the line affect the destiny of the country the destiny of his family and his own destiny so we feel that we take this responsibly this responsibility very seriously now as you know as you have said i've written 50 books my purpose in writing these books it allows me to sit down analyze all the scientific data mm-hmm. what we are doing what is right what we need to correct mm-hmm. and adhere to best practice guidelines and i'm very happy and proud to say that till today we have adhered to the best practice guidelines 
all that we have done have been approved by various organizations mm -hmm. including the tata trust because they come they investigate us mm -hmm. to see do we have the infrastructure mm -hmm. are we capable mm -hmm. and most importantly are we capable of rehabilitating these children mm -hmm. so once you put in the device mm -hmm. the parents have to be taught how to use the device, use the device to help the child acquire speech and language mm -hmm. i'm proud to say that one of the children whom we i operated on years ago got married to a boy with normal hearing so that has been the proudest moment of our life oh. i've operated on a on a person who was blind in both eyes oh. and deaf in both ears so her parents came to me and said we are worried about her daughter what about her future mm -hmm. so i implanted a cochlear implant in both her ears she's got her job back she converses meaningfully on the phone mm -hmm. and lives life to the fullest she always comes in with a million dollar smile on her face mm -hmm. which is my biggest satisfaction we face problems like we have a child who was born to deaf parents mm -hmm. the child is also deaf oh. so we implanted the device the child goes for therapy but unfortunately because both her parents are deaf they go back to sign language oh, so we have had to enroll other family members to say the therapy does not end in school mm -hmm. but should continue at home mm -hmm. so the other parents who use sign language they of course will use sign language but other members of the family should go in and give the child input so that the child will respond verbally mm -hmm. we now make it our practice to implant both ears at the same time why is that so we do this because the ability to acquire speech and language is much better mm -hmm. clarity of speech is much better mm -hmm. and also the person will get directionality that means the person will, will be able to say the sound comes from here or there mm -hmm. whereas if you implant only one ear while they acquire speech and language mm -hmm. while they also have clarity of speech mm -hmm. at times they find it difficult to say from where the sound is coming mm -hmm. so the gold standard is to implant both the ears at the same time so they get they are able to acquire speech and language they can hear normally they can speak clearly and also get directionality so this has been a tremendous advance a tremendous source of satisfaction for us because um, mr ratan tata through the tata trust because mr salman khan very generously through his trust being human have kind of sponsor so many children mm -hmm. that's why i dedicated this book to both of them in honor of their services oh. and both very graciously agreed to see me accept this and uh, continue to sponsor and support us okay i think many thanks to ratan tata and mr salman khan for supporting this kind of an initiative by dr chris disuza and helping the society at large like you know and everything whatever he practices he puts in a book form where it remains and for people to go and uh, follow and get some gain insights as far as uh, hearing devices which are which are concerned no doubt sir your uh, as far as uh, the commitment uh, to your profession i think it's a hats off and secondly also like bringing smile to the hearing impaired i think that's something which uh, again i would say is a service to humanity is a service to an god as a no doubt uh, mr ratan data and salman khan were part of your initiatives and various other donors were part of that and it was a very interesting insight to what dr chris this was exclusively he has given on tiktok एक बोल सोच की वॉच आउट फॉर डॉक्टर क्रिस डिसोज नेक्स्ट एपिसोड नोइंग अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन ऑफ एंड बॉडी एज फॉर दर विच आर कंसर्न टिल देन स्टे टू इन टू टी टॉक एक बोल सोच की सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर बी पार्ट ऑफ थैंक यू सर थैंक यू